So Kami got killed. What's your opinion on it? Oh, it's it's um, what, what's a nice way of saying this? It really feels like someone really really liked Bleach, but oh. <laughs> you know what? I can do better. And that person was 13 years old, and they made that into an anime. Oh, that's what I feel about a comic gonna kill. You was talking did about I, that the one. Manga, it, Thought it had potential? I did. And then I realized, oh no, the writing sucks, and the main character has no character. No character? What do you mean by that? Uh, let's see. Name one thing that you remember about his personality. Crying? Uh... What was the question again? Crying personality. Uh, personality. Uh, what is he like? Oh, what is he like? Oh, I saw it to like where that chick with the scissors. I saw up where she died. He likes his friends. He fights for his friends. Uh huh. Anyways, uh. Believe in the cards. How, he all wants the to be cards. He wants to be the very best, like no one ever was. Uh. Yeah. 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 He. I will say. I will say this though. If someone could give me a fan edit of that anime where it's just the battle scenes. I'll, I'll buy that. Oh, jeez. Those, those battle scenes are good. So what about the other characters? What are your opinion on the other characters? Uh, they're all just stock bullshit. They're like, oh, look how cool this character is. Isn't this character cool? They're all, they, they just, they don't, I don't feel anything. They're all, I've seen that character done ten times better and ten times worse. So, I guess, whatever. Really? Is that all you have to say about it? Uh, I, I, the gore did. is nowhere near how much people thought how bad it was. I'm like, look, it's the goriest show one I've ever done. I'm like, I've seen '90s animes about schoolgirls gorier than that. You fuckers, you have no idea what real gore is. Watch Genocide, and then you'll know what the fuck real gore is. Watch Silent oh, Jack. My, dude, there's a no. Genocide is way gorier than the Violence Jack. It has a better story, but still a piece of shit anime, and I hate it. There's this scene where this dude gets his face ripped off, and like, the muscles start popping and blood starts coming out. Oh shit. Like, what? anyone. Like, I don't get why people think just because it has gore, it's good. That's. That's. I think what seems to be a common problem with modern I mean, anime. No, that was a problem in anime in the 90s. Really? Oh my god, you have no idea. Well, There's so many piece of shit 90s gore animes that were made, it's ridiculous. Like, literally, studios were built, crushed, destroyed, and then built again by them. Jeez, what? You know how many dub companies there were in the 90s? There was a shit ton. And literally half of them were made by gore animes. What the? I and was... then there's this one gore anime that um, that apparently America loves, and by that I mean this one dude really loved and based his whole company on it. What is it? This empty guys. What was it? Empty guys. Empty guys. Empty guys. Oh. If you want to see a gore anime that has cool character designs, and that's it. Um, watch empty guys. Yeah. It sucks, like, really hard. What is it about? Uh, super special super soldier gets betrayed by super s baby space soldiers? And then goes kills everyone. Oh, wow, that sounds and interesting. Then, and then the villain, when you actually look like what he's trying to do, he's actually a good guy. What? But he must die because he's in the way of the main character. <laughs> and even then, the main character's like, yeah, I probably shouldn't have killed that guy. Jeez. Too bad. So and then there's those a things. And then there's a sequel I never saw. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, oh, oh. I better think about a comic kill. Okay. All the character designs remind me of Buso Renkin. What's that? A way better anime. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. Uh, Busto Rankin's the Busto Rankin is a very short anime. It's very uh, it's it's uh, I say it's a solid B, maybe a B minus. Oh wow. 
But it's it's uh it's like what if the guy who made a roaring kitchen made Full Metal Alchemist? Oh what? Yeah, it's the it's the manga that the guy who made a roaring kitchen made after Full Metal Alchemist. Oh wow, well, that's interesting. Yeah, and there's one character in particular that when I saw him, I was like, dude, that's just the guy from Buso Renkin. <laughs> who is Literally? it? Literally. Okay, you know the guy with the mask. The giant pompadour motherfucker oh, with ye, the ye, silver mask. Yeah, Bulati. That is, that is straight up for Buso fucking Rengin. Oh my god. Like, there's. I can't remember what his name I'm gonna look it up real quick. But there's a character, Buso Rengin, that I was like, did, did that guy just steal the Buso Rengin character design? It really, it really feels like a less fun, more violent, but less fun Buso Rengin, is how I can describe a Kami no Kill. Wow. If you like. Like a comic get kill because of the gore. Just go back in time in the '90s. You'll find way better animes with better gore. <laughs> if you like Buso Renkin based on care, I mean, if you like a comic get kill based on character designs, you should go watch Buso Renkin. That has a way better main character and way cooler. Well, I don't know. Like I said, those fight scenes are really cool and they're very interesting. I do know everyone dies in it though. Like, even the main character dies. Oh, spoiler alert. But Buso Renkin has a way better villain, so... Really? Yes. Oh, oh my god, the villain... Is... Dude, I love the villain in Buso Renkin more than I love certain members of my family. What? Oh. Um, yeah. I think you should get that checked out. No, dude, that guy is so fucking... Oh, Captain Bravo. Look up Buso Renkin Captain Bravo and you know what the fuck I'm talking about. Captain Bravo? The only thing yeah. I'm imagining is like Johnny Bravo with like a, a captain's hat on. Uh, I mean, character design wise, you're wrong, but personality, you're probably right. Jeez. Oh, he is kind of like Johnny Bravo. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> not even wrong, man. Oh my God. You're not even wrong. <laughs> Okay, wow. so pretty, pretty everyone has like a alchemist weapon and his is his suit that he wears and he just punches the shit out of dudes. Wait, in Akami got kill or the oh, okay. Busio is about alchemists killing homunculists. So you're saying it's full melt alchemist. I just said that yeah, it's I straight know. up straight up Rick doing full alchemists. So Except you has none of like the gravitas or uh intrigue or cool moments of Full Metal Alchemist. But like the art style is kind of similar. Like they were both like it reminds me of like two thousands like halfway through the manga of Metal Alchemist, the art style wise. Oh that's interesting. I do feel like the Running Kenshin and Full Metal Alchemist have a very similar art style. I still need to finish Running Kenshin. That was a really but, good manga. Well actually after you get done with Shishio you can stop because the rest of it's fucking filler. Really? I read up to like manga 22, I think. No, it was Bleach. Oh, oh no. Did I no. Read up to? Uh, uh, there's no filler in the manga. Oh really? Oh yeah, no, yeah. I I read the manga of Rune Kenshin. The last the last arc of Rune Kenshin never got made into an anime. Really? But David, what about that OVA that came out? They only had the fight with Ishio. And Ishio's uh, like a made... bandage guy, right? No, that's Shishio. Ishio is uh okay. Did you ever watch the Samurai X movies where it's Kenshin's flashback? I only read the manga, so I don't know. Uh, the, I that no, was back when no, I was a freshman okay. in high school. Do you know the flashback where Kenshin reveals how he became a samurai? Yeah, how he met the, met his wife at the age of like 12. Yeah. Okay. Yes, yes no, okay. You, this, okay, let me tell you something. The last scene I remember when I, when I was reading it was... Oh god. It was, um... The, the chick goes up to him and she's like, Wow, you do really make it rain blood and she's covered in blood. And I was like, and that's how you that's how you met his wife. I was like, dude, dude, and that's why I left off that. Mostly. You do you know that wife's piece of shit little brother? No. Well, her piece of shit little brother is like a super cool villain. Who is almost as cool as Shishio. Not as cool as Shishio. There's no one be as cool as Shishio. Shishio's like one of the best villains of all time. Jeez. Who's, wait, Shishio's from what? What, a manga? Bandage, bandage dude. Oh. Bandage, oh. Yeah. She, I don't Shishio. remember the names, again. 
I read this a long time ago. Uh, I'm literally staring at my Roran Kenshin manga right now. Oh my <laughs> god, you have the mangas? Dude, I loved that show as a kid. You don't even know. Damn. That being said, you should watch the uh, the first OVA series, which is just about the flashback. Oh, and you... wait, let me finish. Okay. You can know nothing about Roran and Kitchen. None of the characters, none of the settings. You can just watch that movie and have an enjoyable experience. Oh, it is a sta yeah, it's a standalone movie that just adds to the Roran and Kenshin mythos. Oh really? Well, that sounds yeah. nice. I've watched it with people who know nothing about Running Kitchen and they like it. Oh wow. So How many people exactly like I don't like one uh, not one, I watched it two. when I watched it with uh my uh anime club members. Oh, okay. Wow, they it didn't was, even it, know about Rune and Kitchen? Uh most of them were freshmen. The freshmen at my anime club, they all knew that. It was just like huh. Oh that's interesting. Uh, well they knew they some of them knew about Running Engine, but they haven't they hadn't watched it. All they knew it. about, oh god, oh god, I've been, I've been. Well, all they literally there. know is like there's a red dude with a X scar on his cheek. Isn't he cool, guys? Super cool. And he met his wife, and that's when he was just like, I'm no longer gonna kill again, right, or something like that. Well, not really. I mean, he decided he was just gonna leave and, like, I don't know, start doing his assassin business somewhere else because he was kind of getting assassin his shit kicked. Assassin business? I don't know. That... He was a government assassin. Everyone I mean, forgets I mean, that. I mean, no, no, no. I meant, like, he uses a blade that's reversed. Huh. Assassin. Not in the flashback. He just straight up used a regular sword in the flashback. When when he was in a... When, when he was a manslayer. When he was Batosai the manslayer. Jeez. He just used the regular sword. I mean, his yeah. name sounds badass. And then he just becomes Kenshin Amora. <laughs> Who is based off a real dude? I remember that. Read something about that. Well, most of the characters are based off real people. Based That's... being the keyword. <laughs> based. Just how I was based off a guy who was pissed off when he was reading fucking. A comic got kill going like this is this is going somewhere and I don't like it. Oh, you read a comic got kill? Yeah, I was reading it and then like I got to like volume two. I'm like I'm not I'm not feeling this anymore. And then it got an anime and I was like maybe I'll watch the anime. You know what, you know what manga and anime are really good and you should read. You should read and watch One Punch Man. I that is popping up everywhere. Oh my Plus, god. One Punch Man is the shit. I, I started reading One Punch Man two years ago and then it got an anime like six months ago and I was like, yeah! Dude, the manga got its own theme song before the anime was even released. That was another thing people were going crazy about. They're like, dude, bruh. Well, there's actually two mangas. There's the original manga and then there's the remake of the manga with a new artist and the artist, the yeah, art in the art in the remake is so good. Like, I, j I, I, I like the story, but I really like the art of One Punch Man more than I like the story, so I'm not going to read the original. <laughs> That's saying a lot. That art is so goddamn good. I haven't yet to see the anime. I want to, I want to know if it transfers well. Because, good god, I could take screen caps of some of the, like, big set pieces and, like, designs in that manga and be like, yeah, I can open a museum with this shit. Jeez. It's that, it's that fucking good. You know it's not fucking good? What? Ditsetsu no Yashina no Denetsu. Okay, what do you, like, what's with the main character? Or Legend like of the Legendary or Heroes. Why don't you like the main, uh, not the, it was the I main like protagonist. The, I like every character in that manga, but this one, bitch. Why do you hate us so much? <laughs> okay, so the first chat, okay, Reiner's the main character, and he, he is probably one of the most original main characters I've seen in a while. Jeez, okay. Oh, okay, so he has a very cliche backstory. Okay. Countries at war, so oh, they start... Doing child soldier magic experiments to bake the best magic child soldier. Okay. He ends up killing like most of his friends. Why? Because he was forced to. Oh, so kind of like Agus. No, not like Agus Labrys. Labrys. 
okay, this plot no, point has been this. used in a shit ton of stories, yeah, west and east. But I yeah. Know. Okay, so I give you his backstory, and he goes to this, and the government, after the war ends, puts him in a military academy to keep an eye on him. What do you think his personality is going to be like? War. You think he's going to be super emo guy, or you yeah. think he's going to be super positive, jumpy? I'm the best. I good. I love my friends. He Answer killed all his night. friends. Ready? Answer is neither. He's neither of those stupid cliches. How? He's something better. He's a kind guy who just wants to take naps. Huh? And really? He just walks around and he puts. He, his whole thing is uh, people just need to chill out and put the most minimum of efforts. What? That sounds brilliant, yeah. actually. He's just a super nice guy. Well, people out, but he's like he's still like it's because he knows how bad the world can be. Oh, that's cool. And, he, and he's interesting, and he's nice. And, like, first chapter ends where, like, they're, they're all of this new... Oh, God, Avis, you're, like, you're breaking in and out. Oh, shit. Am I back? Okay, and you're back. Okay, so he makes new friends. And they're, uh, one of them is the illegitimate son of the king. And he wants to become the king because the king sucks. Because the king, the king does really fucking suck. He's a piece of shit. Jeez, okay. Okay, anyway, and and they get sent to a battle where he's, and the battle is pretty much set up so they'll die. Oh. And most of his friends die, and he and he does the whole, and he doesn't want to reveal his powers in front of this one girl that likes him, but he, he eventually has to protect everyone, and he just, re he just wrecks all this shit, gets wrecked, it is, it is super just... You don't even understand what the fuck you just walked into, you piece of shit. Jeez, that sounds pretty interesting. Little boy just walked into a trap and he doesn't even know. <laughs> but anyway, right? And then, uh, so after that, uh, the king's like, guess what? You're going to jail because, good God, we didn't know how much shit you could wreck. And, uh, his, his, his friend girl, who, uh, turns out to be a spy for an enemy country. Uh-huh. Because, uh, well, because a big her, boss. Her, no, her whole family was her whole family was a bunch of spies, and they were all captured by the kingdom, and all of them but her younger sister were killed, and she was like, and they they were like, you better betray, be a double agent, or we're gonna kill your little sister. But after the attack, she gets locked up in prison, and like, the people are like. We're here to arrest you, but since if you if you come peacefully, we'll give you one request. And he's like, okay. He willingly gets arrested and sent into jail, and he's like, and he goes to the same prison the girl's at, and he's like, my request was to let you go. What? But I have some bad news. Your younger sister died. And she's like, do you think I really want to hear that? <laughs> I'm a monster, and he's like, he's like, no, you're not a monster. I'm a monster, and he says this like this awesome speech, and she like regains her willingness to live and then she gets out of prison and then he's just stuck in prison <laughs> he's... and he's in prison for two years wow like I thought the manga was going to be about him teaming up with the illegitimate prince taking over the kingdom nope time skip the son killed the king and is now the new king <laughs> what huh <laughs> normally the whole manga would be about him becoming king but nope fuck it time skip that shit that's anyway, two years come two years come around, and he's set to be executed, and the prison guard starts crying because they become best friends because he's a cool dude. Oh, that's he's, and, and he's the only one who listens to his problems about his wife. <laughs> so that so he has to execute him. No, he's getting he's get he has to send him to his execution. And he starts crying. And he's like he's like you know you think I should escape? He's like. You know, I would totally help you escape. He's like, nah, you'll get in trouble if I escape. So I'll, I'll go to my execution. He goes to the execution so the prison guard doesn't get in trouble. What a pro. Good guy. What a cool dude, right? And then he goes to the game, and then the bitch I hate the most comes out and ex is like, she's going to be the executioner because she's like the best swordsman in the country. Uh huh. I'm okay with that. And they have this really cool fight. It, right now, I was very indifferent to her. I'm like, okay, she seems pretty cool. She's only been in like a couple pages up until this point, 
and she was mostly just play for like her old deal is I say jokes with a straight dead face and when she was just a background character and she had like a couple pages it was like yeah okay these are, these are kind of funny anyway so he he starts fighting her because she's trying to kill him but then he like oh shit I'm supposed to die so the guard doesn't get in trouble so he just gives up and she's like why the fuck did you give up he's like because I don't want people to get in trouble uh, that sounds like, really cool. Not, not not only that, he was going easy on her the entire time too. Oh what? So, he's not gonna kill her. He's not gonna kill this woman executor just because she's doing her job. Cause he's a cool dude. Wow, oh, that sounds really cool. Right? And then he goes and like, oh shit, you're a king. Well, I guess what? He's like, hey, I found this essay you're you wrote a kid, about. You squid now. Squid now. He's like, hey, I found this essay you wrote in college where you wanted a uh, way that you wrote in prison about making a world where everyone can just take naps. I want you to do it. <laughs> I want you to do it. Just yeah. do it. I want you to do it. And he's like, the swordswoman's gonna be your sidekick. I'm like, uh, okay. And then she just starts doing her shtick. Where, oh, make Reiner go into a trap. Oh, talk about how much of a pervert he is. When he does nothing perverted whatsoever. What? And he'll just be like... And he'll just oh. okay. So there's one scene where like he's trying to get past the thing using magic, and she just breaks open the door, and a waterfall trap activates, and then she starts bitching about how he activated the trap. And I was like, "Bitch, you did that!" And he's like, "Yeah, you did that." He's like, "I don't hear that from a pervert who just stares at my breast." Like, when has he ever even done that? We know Ryder. We've. We witnessed what Reiner do. We know Reiner's a super cool dude. <laughs> He's a bro. That's really cool. But he keeps, but she keeps like telling every other complete stranger who doesn't know Reiner that he's a rapist and he's an asshole. And we're just like, fuck no. you. <laughs> it's not funny. Your jokes aren't funny. Jeez. It's the same shit. Reiner's a pervert. I'm really pretty. I would like to eat something that girls don't like to eat. Like I want a giant steak. Whoa. Shut the fuck up! Maybe, maybe that character's actually a joking character, because maybe everything you explain right there could be him poking fun and all that. Just like, her, 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 I'm just making this character really hateable on purpose. No, because I read forums, Aaron likes her because she's super cool at fighting and she's really hot, and oh my god, her jokes are funny. They're not funny, they're stupid, and I like Reiner as a character. He doesn't need a sidekick. <laughs> He could have just had adventures and just like goofed around. And he get, like there, he has jokes that are funny. And then he and then she has a little sister who has the same shtick as she does, but she's a little girl. So oh no, Ryder's trying to fill up a little girl when she dive bombs and tries to stab his face with a sword. Oh yeah, yeah, he's a pedophile and a rapist. It's like shut the fuck up. Good God, I don't like you. <laughs> I like Reiner, and I couldn't read the manga anymore because it was just her same shtick over and over and over. Then they introduced a new character, and I was like, wow, that character's cool. And they're introducing like these political intrigues, and like maybe the king is being tempted to, like the king, the best friend of Reiner is being tempted to become an evil guy. And I'm like, wow, this is all interesting. And it cuts to her stupid goddamn face doing her stupid fucking joke, and I can't stick it. I want her to die so I can read the manga and enjoy it again. What was the manga title again? That's uh, Legend of the Legendary Heroes in English. 